Hi everyone, I'm back here with another makeup tutorial for you today and it's gonna be something that I always do a smoky, clubbing, party kind of look. Nothing like the first two tutorials. I'm sorry if you're looking for a demure kind of pretty look then please don't watch on. Um, this is really smoky and I got a request to do a red lip for someone on my blog as well, you can check that out and um, if you have any requests, you can actually ask me there as well and I hope you enjoy! The first step that I do is to put on lip balm. This is really important and I really think it's useful not having dry lips throughout the day because it helps to keep my lip um, moisturised and by the time I reach the step where I need to put on my lipstick, it actually makes it easier to apply the lipstick and I will get like dry lips and just peeling lips. And the next step I go for is my usual eye primer. I am going to move on to eyeshadow. So I'm going to grab a fluffy brush and put it all over my lid, going up to the socket bone. So today was the release of results and I am ecstatic because I did, I reached my goal. Yay me, and I also did much better than expected. And I'm graduating! I don't have to extend a semester, so yay me! Okay, so after getting this kind of minky purple colour, greyish purple colour on, I'm going to go for a darker colour, just to deepen the colour. Let me switch out for a smaller brush. Grabbing some and just patting it onto my eyelid. Different to the previous two tutorials, I am actually not going to make it go round this time. I am going to make it go to a triangle if you can envision just this part out in a triangle because it's clubbing, it's like party makeup. I want it to be fiercer so I'll draw a line up this way from my line, eye line, the bottom eye line, and then just flick it back into the socket. Keeping in mind that if you're always using pretty soft motions and movements, you never really get too harsh a line, so blending with the same brush is no problem. And this now looks like one wash of colour, so I am going to deepen it even further with my NARS Nightbreed. So taking a small brush, I'm going to just concentrate on the outer V of my eye. Following the lash line up and then going back in, creating a V. And I'm going to bring a bit of the colour down as well, because I like it that way. Just blending everything in. Okay, and this is my smoky eye done. I am going to do eyeliner now. Okay, so I'm back with both my falsies and my eyeshadows done and I'm going to finish the eyeliner now. So, um, going out with your eyeliner, you don't have to go down a droopy way if you want to be sexy and do it like a wing out, winged out, like cat eye, more, more feline I guess. So, looking ahead, imagine where you want the line to be and just draw a flick in with your liquid liner. Something like that. And then fill in again. I 
And I've gotten both my eye and eyes done now and I'm gonna make the color more intensive and make try to make the triangle go back further because um, my eyeliner has extended further so just adjusting a little adding a bit more shadow making it more triangle making it seem as if your sockets go behind further than they are than they do You can actually extend some of your um, bottom part as well um, using an angled brush again. Just taking the same dark shadow, black shadow, and then just filling it up. And this is what I usually have for my clubbing eyes. It's what I do when I'm in a rush, and then I'll just do this it's the simplest to do and if I have more time I usually do like a more elaborate kind of look with glitter and just more colours in general okay change of plans I'm not gonna do a red lip today I'm so sorry I tried on a red lip I used um, Russian red and it wasn't very nice it was a bit too uh too much for this purple and I think my green contact lenses that's why so but I'm gonna be using the net the MAC Viva Glam 3 and it's a matte range. It's brown. Um, smiling when you apply your lipstick helps to stretch out the the lip so you can get into the lines and all that and it wouldn't look as if you didn't apply your lipstick properly. Okay, I think I need a little bit more um, blush, so I'm going in with my Angelica and just amping up the colour. And this is my finished look. I hope you like it. I'm sorry I abandoned the red lip halfway. It's a bit of a clash and I think this colour palette works better. So it's what I would usually wear to go clubbing. A simple smoky eye and a nice dark lip to have more colour in the face because if you get caught by the club photographer, they usually have really bright flashes that take out a lot of colour and warmth from your face. So um, using darker colours and using more saturated colours would be better for clubbing and partying. So I hope you enjoy watching this tutorial and um, for full products and price list you can actually go to my blog and if you have more questions I'll be more than glad to help you answer any of these questions to the best of my abilities. And uh, do let me know if you have more requests. Uh, I will most probably be working on the red lips soon. I'm sorry about that. Uh, so yeah, I hope everyone had a good day and you had an awesome release of results if you're from NUS like me. And go and watch the latest GOT episode on Game of Thrones, Game of Thrones. Okay, bye! <laughs>